Hey guys, it's Daniela, and this week's theme on Wow the Fighting Squad is 10 things you don't know about moi. So I made a list on my phone of 10 random things you don't know about yours truly, or that you probably don't know about me. So anyways, without any further ado, let's get this party started. Woo! So I'm sure a lot of you guys probably know that I play piano and violin, and I'm sure it is a well-known fact. Um, but I, I'm not sure if you guys know how long I've been playing. So I've been playing piano for 10 years, almost 10 and a half years, and violin for almost eight years. In fact, this summer will be eight years since I started violin. So the next fact about me, um, speaking of music, is um, I am actually going to be majoring in violin performance and I'm going to be going off to music school in just a few months. So um, yeah, and I'll be majoring in violin performance and I will, I'll still be doing piano. Um, it'll still be a big part of my life. Um, but I will be majoring in violin performance. So the next fact about me is um, I've technically been on YouTube since I was six years old. So um, here is the story. So I didn't actually like start making videos on my own channel until like the age of 11. That's when I kind of started making like my own videos like on my own channel. And then at the age of 14, I started joining collab channels and still to this day, I make videos on Wowser Fighting Squad as well as my personal channel. So I've been making videos on my personal channel for well over six years, um, actually almost seven years. Um, but my very, very, very first ever YouTube video was made when I was six years old. And it was posted on my dad's account, my dad's channel. Um, and so it was a video of six-year-old me um, doing a tutorial on how to make a paper spinner. <laughs> and it's still on YouTube today. But um, yeah, because at the time I was really into doing origami. Um, it was my thing, and I learned about it at camp, and I was just, I, like, ever since then, um, for, like, the next couple of years, I was just really into doing origami, and I used to just make all these origami tutorials kind of for fun. Like, I would have my dad, like, record me on his, like, really, really old phone, and I would, <laughs> I, a six-year-old me would just do, like, all these, like, origami tutorials, and... I don't know, it was just my thing back then, and um, ever since then, um, kind of in the next few years after that, like, my brother and I would like make random videos and post them on my dad's YouTube account, and it was just like these random videos, but yeah, they're so funny to look back on now. So the next fact about yours truly is... I can do some pretty interesting things with my tongue. So I can do this, which a lot of people can do. Um, I think most of the world population can do that, but I can also do this. I, I don't know, I, it's just a random thing that I can do. The next fact, I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this because um, it's really controversial. The next fact is I don't like to eat my cereal with milk. I like to eat my cereal without milk and part of that is because I'm, I'm not a fan of milk in general. Um, like I'm just like if it's in like cake like used as an ingredient like that's like that's different but I'm not like someone who likes to drink milk or like I don't like milk in my cereal but also Another reason for that is because I'm, I'm just not a fan of soggy cereal. Like, I'm, that's my personal opinion. I know a lot of people will probably disagree with that, but um, that's just me, I guess. That's like a weird fact, I guess, because it's because a lot of people will disagree on that. But yeah, I don't like my cereal with milk. I just like to have my cereal just as it is. And speaking of cereal, the next fact is, this is really random, but I once had an Instagram post that I posted from camp, and it was my breakfast that day. 
and this was like almost four years ago, I posted a picture of my breakfast, which was cereal, and in the caption, I misspelled cereal, and I didn't even notice until over a year later when I went back to that post for some reason, I can't remember what that reason was, and I saw that I misspelled cereal. I didn't even know at the time that, like, I, I didn't, it wasn't like a typo, it was just like my brain was just not working, and I misspelled cereal, didn't even notice until over a year later, and then I edited the caption with the correct spelling. I, I knew how to spell cereal at the time, I was like 14 years old, but like, my brain was just not working. Um, so, the next fact. Um, one time when I was like five or six years old, um, I, like that day, I was, um, it was the day of my elementary school talent show, and I wasn't in the talent show at the time, I was just like watching it, and I remember like, there were these two kids who like played Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on the violin, and this was before I played the violin, even before I played piano, so this was like a long time ago, and, um, I remember like that that act somehow for some reason really stuck out to me. I think it's because like I really wanted to play the violin and like I think even then like it was before I like really showed any real interest in it but like um I think like deep down this is like I I knew I had always like wanted to play the violin. And so I I remember I that act really stuck out to me the the two kids who played Twinkle Twinkle Little Star simultaneously. So what I did, like sometime later, like when I got home from school that day, I had this guitar that I got, um, and I probably still have it today, but it's really out of tune. But like I had this guitar, and um, I also had this like recorder, like you know, like one of those like toy recorder things, um, and. Um, <laughs> I set the guitar on the floor because I wanted to like, I wanted to like do what they were doing um, and I, I didn't know like what it was exactly. All I knew was that I really wanted to do it. So I set the guitar on the floor and I took the recorder <laughs> and I held it like this and then I just like brushed it against the strings of the guitar and I like, because I, I really wanted to imitate what they were doing and at the time I didn't know it was called a violin and a bow. I just thought it was a guitar and a stick. <laughs> I don't know, that's a random, random story from my childhood, but um, yeah. And then five years later, <laughs> I started violin lessons, so. <laughs> so the next fact, um, some of you guys might find this unbelievable, because <laughs> I'm not like this in front of the camera, but in real life, I'm actually very, very shy, um, like in school and stuff, which school seems to be a very distant memory these days because, you know, we're all doing school online these days, but like before we were in a global pandemic and when we were actually like, you know, going to school, I have always been like really, really shy in school. Um, like I would be like that one person that just like, I. Like I, like I've, I've just, I've just always been very shy in school, and like in certain situations, like social situations, I'm just really shy. Like in front of the camera, I'm like completely a different person, and um, in certain situations, like I'm like um, talkative and like not shy, but like in school and like social situations in general, I'm a shy person. <laughs> um, so yeah. So the next fact is another childhood story. And so I think I was like eight years old at the time, but I was in Puerto Rico. And I've been to Puerto Rico many times because I have family in Puerto Rico. I am half Puerto Rican, so I have family there. So I've been to Puerto Rico many times in my life, and this is one of the times I've been to Puerto Rico. So um, I, I was like eight years old at the time and we were gonna go to the beach. For some reason, I really did not want to go to the beach, and I don't even know why, because like, I love going to the beach, 
and like now, like I, I like if I, like I don't live near the beach, so I only ever get to go to the beach when I'm on like vacations and stuff. So every time, like I know we're gonna go to the beach, like I get excited about it. But like at the time, I really did not want to go to the beach. I think it's because I had other things I really wanted to do, and I was just set on it. And we were all gonna go to the beach as a family, and I'm. I just threw a full-on temper tantrum because I, I just really did not want to go. I was just like, I was just throwing a tantrum and eventually we did go um, because like I, eventually I just accepted it but like I'm still to this day I'm like I can't believe I did not want to go to the beach that time because like I was just, I, I was just not having it and it's, yeah. Um, so the last fact, um, this one is about how Wowser Fighting Squad, or originally Seven Wowser Fighting Girls, got started. Um, and it started off as um, I was at school one day, and it was during lunch, and this random idea came into my head um, about what if I started a collab channel. <laughs> And at the time, it was a crazy idea that I didn't think would ever come true. And it was just like one of those like random thoughts that pops into your head. And I'm really glad that we made it happen because um, if we did not execute on that idea, this video wouldn't exist. <laughs> and neither would all the other videos on this channel. So if you guys want the full story, so here it is. So I was at school one day. I was so I was in eighth grade at the time. I was almost 14 years old. So um, this so seven wild and five girls started kind of like around the time I turned 14. Um, it was just a few weeks before. Um, so I was 13 years old still. But I was at school one day. I was at lunch, and I this idea just popped in my head. What if we started a collab channel? We, as in me and Rena. Um, Rena at the time was a manager, um, and since then she's um, moved. She's kind of moved on. So now um, me and Laura manage the channel. Um, but anyways, so at the time um, this idea popped in my head, and I remember about a month and a half before this, Rena and I were coming up with random collab channel names that like didn't exist at the time, but. Um, we were coming up with things with collab channel names that we thought would be like we thought should be like real channels <laughs> and one of the names that we came up with was seven wilds for fine girls and then a month and a half later we actually made it happen so then after i came up with the idea i texted her on google hangouts and i was like hey so i have this really cool idea we could start a channel called seven wilds for fine girls and then she was like oh yeah we should and so after school that day, we um, created the channel, and then in the next few days after that, we um, worked on the auditions um, video, the video announcing our first ever auditions. And we were also on a time crunch because a few days later, um, I was going to go to Puerto Rico, um, and so we were on a time crunch because we had to get the video up before my trip um, so that like so that I, I didn't so that we weren't like working on it while I was on my trip to Puerto Rico and yeah so that's how Seven Wilds and Fine Girls was born and um, yeah so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I hope you guys um, I, I hope you guys learned more about me that you didn't know before and um, yeah, so if you guys want to be a good candidate for a shout out in my next video, then don't forget to comment down below, down below, some facts about you because I want to get to know you guys a bit better. So anyways, um, that is pretty much it. Don't forget to have a wowser friendly wowser friendly day for lots of wowserness, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out, y'all. Woo!